Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 34th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus right now is on the GUI class and <clears throat> sorry I didn't have this up before. Uh, the main GUI class is table. There will be other GUI classes but I think I want to stick to looking at the main GUI class a little bit more here. Um, ultimately what we're gonna have um, maybe maybe it would make sense from let me open the let me open the finished project here real quick in a new window and show you the pieces here so when we start this engine up When we start the engine up, um, right, so we're going to have a panel here on the left. It's going to be called the Taken Pieces panel. And when you take a piece, it's going to go here. So let me show you how that works. So let's play a, sort of a fake game out here. Boom. So notice that the black pawn was taken and it went up there. So this is going to be the Taken Pieces panel here over on the left and on the right. This is going to be the game history panel, which is going to record uh, the game history moves in PGM format. And this will be a debug panel. So in the future videos, when you see us introduce these classes, uh, you'll know what they mean. Um, yeah, so, but in this video, my focus is going to be on uh, listening for mouse click events on the tiles. Don't forget the tiles are, they extend J panel, so does the board. So when we, we want to listen for events on individual tiles, so here in the tile panel, um, here, let's close this out here and come back. Here in the tile panel, um, I'm going to say, okay, so let's say add mouse listener new mouse listener and IntelliJ does that for me and we got a bunch of mouse clicked events and I've had folks ask me about like drag and dropping the pieces I'm not going to do that at the outset we'll maybe come back to that as an enhancement but it's easier to understand if um, you know when you just need to click in the source tile and the destination tile uh, to move a piece and uh, really, we can ignore the mouse exit entered, released, and pressed methods and focus just on the mouse clicked method. <clears throat> and let's see if we can sort this out. We're going to say something like if is right mouse button event. This is going to be used, and this method doesn't exist yet, obviously we have to write it, but if the user, the way that we're going to design this um, is that when the user right clicks on a tile, it cancels any piece selections they may have, right? So it may be that I select a pawn to move and I change my mind, and I need to have a way of, of unselecting it, and I'm going to arbitrarily choose uh, the right mouse click action to designate that cancel, okay? So else if <clears throat> is left mouse button event. So if you click on a tile with the left mouse button, then um, what we'll say is we're going to need we're going to need to keep track of a couple things. So um, let's introduce them here at the top. Um, top of the board class we're going to introduce the private tile source tile private tile destination tile private piece human moved piece this is going to be if you if you're a human player and you click and you're trying to move a piece um, right, so let's go ahead and resolve. This. Oops. 
Right, so those are just going to be private member fields here. So let's go back to where we were down here and say, right, so what do we want to say here? <clears throat> if the source tile is null, we want to do something. That means that the user hasn't clicked on any other pieces, so the source tile is going to be null. Else, we want to do something else. This is going to be the case where they haven't picked a source tile. So that the, the so we're going to say source tile is equal to chessboard dot get tile, and we can use tile ID because that's the current tile, right? So here's how this is working. We're on a tile, and we have for each one of the 64 tiles, we're adding a listener that listens for a click event. If for a given tile a click event is uh, discovered, right, if, if, if a click event occurs, then we're going to get that tile ID and we're going to get the actual tile from the chessboard of that tile ID and assign it to source tile, okay? So after we do that, then we're going to say human moved piece is equal to source tile dot get piece. And if human moved piece is equal to null, then source tile is equal to null. Right? So if I if I'm what I'm saying here is if I click on a tile and it's not an empty tile, then assign the piece to human moved piece. Otherwise, um, undo the um, assignment above here where I undo the assignment of source tile, right? So if I just click on an empty tile, do nothing basically and exit out of here. Otherwise, if um, source source tile is not empty, that means we've select in a prior in a prior selection we picked a source tile. Now we're clicking on another tile. This is where you know. So so this is going to be. You can almost think of this if I put a comment like first click. And the happy path, the, and the happy path is I pick a valid piece of mine to move, and this is going to be. That's what. Uh, oops. If the source tile is null, that's going to be the first click, and if it's not null, this is going to um, represent the second click. Okay. Right. So. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? <clears throat> so, okay, so let's let's finish this off and then we'll look at the rest. So we'll say destination tile is equal to chessboard dot get tile, tile ID, right? And final move, move is equal to, let's say null for now. This is going to be the move. We're going to need to create a move based on the source and destination tiles that the user selected, right? And I think we have a method on move factory to do this. Um, but we'll, we'll say that this is null for now. We'll come back to it. We'll stub it out. We'll say final move transition. Transition is equal to chessboard.currentplayer.make move move. Make that move. And if the transition get move status is done. Uh, did I not have a move status, public class move transition move status, done, is done, there is an is done method on there, oh, why didn't that work? wonder why that didn't work. Let's try that one more time. 
if it's done, I'll fix that. Then we want to um, say chessboard, update the chessboard. Update chessboard is equal to chessboard dot current player dot make move. move. Actually, no, let's, let's hold off on doing this part. This will require a little bit more explanation. Why don't we focus on, instead, on the is right mouse button click event and is left mouse button click event. <clears throat> so let's create this method. Oh, it's actually, I'm sorry, this is, um, huh. let's see, doesn't this take something, mouse event, a mouse event, e, this was just a, um, an API that's available, I didn't have to write this method, and is left mouse event, let's do the same thing here, Right. Okay. So I've got a little bit of work left here. When I get the move status, move status is in a num. I wonder why return this to final move status. Oh, it's not public. That's why. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that should that should now it sorts out. Okay, so okay, so let's let's stop here and review what we've done here. <clears throat> what we've said is that when you construct the tile panel, and that's going to happen 64 tile times, one per tile. You want to add a listener, and if you don't know really how, uh, you know how GUI events are processed. I encourage you to look that up on the internet. But we, So what we're doing is we're saying we have a J panel and we can add a listener, a mouse listener, for uh, mouse click events. And we're, we're, what we're saying is that if there's a right mouse click, we're going to use that sort of to cancel out any prior selections. And if it's a left mouse click, then we're going to um, we're going to say that uh, it's possible that if it's a left mouse click, we're going to, um, let's see, what do we do here? All oh, right. If it's a right mouse click, you know what, I, I didn't quite get all of this right. So if it's a right mouse click event, then it's if it's a left mouse click event. If it's a right mouse click event, we want to say Yeah, that's right. I kinda I had this wrong. We want to say source tile is equal to null. Destination tile is equal to null. And human move piece is equal to null when it's a right mouse click. We just want to cancel everything out. Sorry about that guys. And if that's not the case, then, so let's take all of this out. Else if is left mouse click event, sorry about that guys. Now if it's a left mouse click event, 
we want to say that now we want to do those checks that we, I was talking about before. If it's a left mouse to click event, we want to say if the source tile is equal to null, then source tile is equal to chessboard dot get tile tile ID. Human moved piece is equal to source tile dot get piece and if human move piece is equal to null then source tile is equal to null right and let's just cross all that stuff out right here Right, so if it's a right mouse click event, cancel everything out. If it's a left mouse click event, check to see if the source tile is null. If it is null, that means it's, that means it's the first. We want to select this, the, that, that square as the um, source tile. And um, if there's a piece on it, of course, if there's not a piece on it, we want to cancel the event out. And... If the source tile is not null, right? So here we want to have the else clause here. Then we want to say destination tile is equal to chessboard dot get tile tile ID and create the move final move move is equal to and we're going to stub that out for now. We'll do it in the next video and then the move transition and the uh, making of the move. So apologize for the errors there a little bit. Um, I was working on memory there and uh, had to refer back to my script. Um, so I think we've done a lot here in this video. We've um, I've shown you a little bit about um, how to listen for mouse events and the layout of our code. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna we're gonna finish this up and we'll make it such that you can actually click on source and um, destination tiles to move a piece. Okay, thanks guys.